meditation is uh, also a funny word sometimes to use. Sometimes we think that it is about sitting in a certain position, putting our uh, fingers together, but stillness or clarity, clear light could be a better word. It's about connecting to our consciousness. So let us find a comfortable position. Ideally, have your back straight, but not so tense. If you're leaning on something, it's okay. It's a little better if you can balance upright. Doesn't matter if your feet are flat on the ground or crossing your legs. It's more important that you find your position uh, and stick with that position. So that next time you practice, your body and your mind become familiar with what you're going to do now, or rather, what you're going to be. So, with mindfulness, let us close our eyes. I have two dogs in the house. I can hear them barking. <laughs> and in the same way, even if there are sounds externally, it's okay. We don't need perfect silence for meditation. But rather, letting go of the resistance and the need for control, the need for perfection, the need to strive like a mad person. Meditation should be about rest. So with this mindfulness, Let us reflect and turn our attention inwards, away from the thoughts of everyday life, the emotions that we go through every day. Let us Put them aside for a moment. So that we may have the opportunity to not identify with external forms. And rest in our being in our consciousness. When we do that, when we truly stop the thoughts, stop the continuous stream of thinking, there's an energy in the body, a vitality. Perhaps for some who haven't meditated for a long time, you may interpret this as 
nervousness, excitement, fear, worry. But at the end of the day, it's just your own energy. We simply have to breathe through it. Breathing in, calm, stillness, and breathing out, relaxation, letting go of whatever we need to let go of. Let's just breathe like this for some time. Breathing in perhaps five seconds. Holding five seconds. And letting go five seconds. Without straining ourselves. Enjoy every moment of the breath. The breath is a bridge to higher consciousness. It's a tool of union between our body, our mind, and our consciousness. Let us breathe like this for some time. Simple. If thoughts and emotions are there, that's okay. Just come back to the breath. If the mind is distracting, simply come back to the breath. We'll use the mind after the breath. Let us only relax first. Getting in touch with breath, breathing, and being.
Continue the breath for a couple more minutes and we'll move on to an exercise. Take these next two minutes to really prepare the mind for clarity and inner perception. Find your stillness. Stillness of the mind. Stillness of the emotions. And stillness of the body. Let the breath become natural. Let the body breathe by itself. Now sometimes our minds can be so scattered so fast because it is untrained we're barely taught to consciously visualize something so I want to share a little exercise which will help tame the mind and have conscious control over imagination or another word for imagination is clairvoyance I want you to imagine you're in the middle of a field, a green, lush, vast field. There's nobody else here. It's very sunny. There are a few clouds in the sky moving very slowly. You feel at home here. You feel safe, happy, at peace. You feel trust and patience in this place. 
You can feel the grass under your feet. You can smell the dew from the earth. And just sit down on the grass. Enjoying the view. And using your imagination, using your clairvoyance, see that there is a seed in front of you. And you pick up the seed. Don't think about what it should look like. but let it present itself to you. Whatever you see is what this seed looks like. Look at the details. How does it feel? Now place the seed in the soil. a few inches under the ground. And you feel love for this seed. And so, see the seed begin to crack open. And the seedling begins to sprout, going up slowly, about to reach the surface. It begins to grow higher and taller. with some leaves coming out from the stem. See it slowly grow. About a couple of feet high. and see very slowly a bud form at the top, a rose bud. Don't think about what it should look like. Just see it. Thorns begin to grow on the stem. The leaves get longer. And watch very slowly as the bud blossoms. With its soft petals. It's bright red color. And watch it go into full bloom. Glowing in the sunlight. You can smell it, and you can touch it. Admire the beauty of a rose in front of you.
And as its life blooms and lives, now we begin to see the rose slowly decay, slowly become dry and wilt. The leaves shrink. Rose petals fall to the ground very slowly. The shade of red turns to a dark red, grayish in some areas. until eventually the whole plant falls to the ground. and turns to dust. <laughs>